Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the third round of the GDT. I'm joined by Chris. Say hi. What's up? Yes, and um, you may be wondering where match 1 is, by the way. And I am specifically saving that for magnitude. Because it is the Green Goblin and that is his baby. So you will see Kratos versus Green Goblin in the near future. It's just that I'm saving that specific match for him. He's the Godfather. He needs it. But this is this is uh, Kakashi versus Zangief, and here is Kakashi, the number twenty-six overall seed. And, and what is he? I'm going to ask you the honest question: Was what has he done to earn that twenty-six seed? Um, he was very hot at the time. He had had some big wins over some people. He had, a, I think, he had won his feud against Tien, specifically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, um, and to get here, he has beat the number 39 seed Gambit in the first round. All right. In the second round, he beat the Green Arrow, who took down Bane. He, I was going to say, that doesn't seem very impressive, but now you've mentioned who uh, Eric that Green Arrow's beaten, that's actually a little more impressive. Yeah. But, but you also got to remember that that's Discount Bane. Yeah, just like there was also Discount uh, Jack 6, you know, Jack 3.5. Yes, as you will be seeing... In our next video, episode 7, you will see <laughs> Discount Jack 6 versus Deadpool for the Internet Championship. Screw you, Deadpool. You know you're not winning that match. You know you're not winning that match. <laughs> and then yeah. here is the 10 overall seed, Zangief. Now, now, that makes a little more sense to me. Zangief, look at, just look at him. His chest hair is bigger than Kakashi. <laughs> And Zangief got here by beating in the first round Spider-Man. And in the <laughs> second round, in the Hoss match of Hoss matches, he beat Gypsy Danger. Okay. All right. I was about to say, Spider-Man, he's been given chance after chance. I don't understand why he's the big thing. But Gypsy Danger? No. That makes all the sense. Oh, yeah. Spider-Man, I that keep trying. I just keep trying with Spider-Man. And he never wins. Well, you know, he... We keep hope, or people keep hoping, and people keep hoping. But just like, like so many others, if you keep pull out the win, we can't, or they can't give you a championship. Nope, that's exactly right. You gotta win stuff on your own. Just ask, uh, just ask Gambit. I didn't have yeah. any plans for Zan for uh, Gambit to win a freaking, freaking uh, title, but he did, and he retained. Well, and here we go, Zangi versus Kakashi. Do you have the giant grizzly bear? Or do you have the uh, the twiggy man? Uh, uh, you know, I would go with the ninja on a regular basis. But sweet lord, just look at the size of freaking Zangief. This reminds of... me of a Game of Thrones episode, and I feel okay with with saying that this happens here because it is such a major, a minor plot point. Basically, um, someone's watching these two guys fight to the death. And he's like, oh, I always pick the little man in the match like this because they duck and weave and they duck and weave. And then the little guy gets decapitated. <laughs> well, yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Especially when you're, well, again, when you have tree trunk legs that are bigger than your opponent's entire upper torso, you're asking for problems. Yeah, he, he like, he, he like presses um, SUVs. And he bench press freaking uh middle schools really yeah <laughs> yeah he does he just bench presses entire middle schools middle schools wonder what the world is on as and goes <laughs> and then he fights like these massive bears and that and they've talked about this they're not brown we're not talking like grizzly bears no i'm no. talking you surrey brown bears of like 1200 oh zangie's angry but Zangief, uh, you might want to use some motor skills here, buddy. Zangief, Zang move faster. There you go. Thank you, Zangief. Good golly. <laughs> Kakashi just <laughs> only getting that one. Kakashi. <laughs> jumping away. I would jump away to my freaking Kakashi. K Kakashi, I think, has had enough of this. I don't think he wants well, to play anymore. Well, I mean, would you? Look at the size of freaking Zangief. Oh, yeah, and this is great news for anyone that doesn't like perfection, is he is getting the shit kicked out of him right now as a by Zangief. Oh, yeah, no. This is definitely a Zangief showing, I am superior. I am Russian. I am the man. Could this be future canon for green? 
this really needs to be this really needs to be canon for anyone really uh, I, oh just, my god on the freaking ladder ladies and gentlemen this is game set match i think kakashi has broken his neck oh he's still alive good for him somehow I, I'm quite confused with how he managed it, but he's definitely still alive in this match somehow. Oh, never mind. He just had his face taken off. Oh, what's left of it? And here comes <laughs> Zang off the ladder. Look at how small the ladder looks compared to freaking Zangi. <laughs> Kakashi trying to keep over the ladder. Yeah, I think Kakashi just mailed it in at the end. Well, maybe wouldn't you? You don't want to die. Yeah, I don't like, want right. to die. I, I don't want to win this anymore. <laughs> I'm out of here. Have it. A lot stronger and with a lot more willpower than Kakashi to beat Zangi. One cannot fathom the amount of shits that Kakashi did not give at the end of that match. So for anyone that had <laughs> Kakashi moving to the next round, um, yeah, he, he 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 did not put in a lot of effort there. But we will see you next time because we are six minutes into a match. Wow. I thought the last match was short, but Zangi just made Kakashi say, "Nope, I'm not doing this anymore." For the next match, you will see for the internet title, Deadpool versus Jack Six. So we'll see you for that one. Say goodnight.